guys, Miss Whitney Morgan here, and today we're going to attempt to make a bioluminescent butt cake from the Disney's villain, devilishly delicious cookbook. Alright, so first and foremost, obviously, preheat the oven, doing a convection bake at 350, and I have already pre-greased my bun cake pan with a little bit of butter and some cooking spray and all those little nooks and crannies. We got everything set out because who wants to watch that boring part of me measuring everything, right? Right. All right, here we go. First and foremost, we're gonna do three cups of all-purpose flour. Trying to not make a huge mess in my kitchen. Sifted it a little bit, try to get some of the clumps out. Save that for later for the next step. Next, we are going to do three tablespoons of cornstarch. Love that glare from the ring light, huh? One, a two, and a three. Okay. Hmm. Next, two and a half teaspoons of a baking powder. Do two quarters because I can't find the half teaspoon right now. So there's that one and two. Nice little stock there. And next, one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. I'm using iodine salt because I like the iodine in there, but uh. We'll see if it turns out the same. We're making a couple little adjustments here. One, two, three. Let me do those two fourths. To make a half. I'm good at math. One, two. first and three cups of granulated sugar. I like to mix all the dry ingredients first. So. What's the proper way of doing it? Get all that shit out. Alright, that is it for our dry. Now to not make a huge amount of noise for you guys, I'm just going to gently give it a little stir in there because nobody wants to hear the loud buzz, buzz, buzz of a mixer, or do you? Maybe that's your thing. I don't know. And all that dry stuff. A little itsy bitsy stir. Mix it all up. Tap. And now we will commence. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. A lovely, beautiful, fabulous fan sent this to me and I love her oh so dearly and I love using her homemade vanilla extract. What did I say? A tablespoon? Tablespoon. One nice big heaping tablespoon because I love vanilla. Back up there where you belong. Um, Alright, this is where I'm substituting things. You're supposed to put one tablespoon of coconut extract, but I am substituting all of the coconut with a little bit of lemon. 
So here we're going to do some lemon extract. Of course, you can use coconut, maybe orange if you feel like it. Go bananas. It's not that I'm not a huge fan of coconut. Coconut just tends to be an allergen, and I'll be planning on sharing this with a lot of lovely ladies. Uh, ba -ba -ba, one cup whole milk. Slide it over nice and slowly. I'm not spilling anything. I like to uh, stock up on the non-perishable milk because I don't drink it a lot in my personal life, but it tends to be in a lot of the baking I do. Can I slide you over? Slide you over a tad, even with your little suction cups to stay on the counter because I'm classy. go to the side four large eggs and all that gooey gooeyness out last but not least one and a half cups that's three Nice big sticks of unsalted butter. Oh, it says salted butter. Oh, well, fuck it. We're doing unsalted butter. I prefer unsalted cream butter. We'll see. Like I said, making some adjustments. <laughs> I don't like having too much salt in my diet anyways. Um, sodium is bad. All right, last but not least, I'll be tossing that in. Next, I am skipping the one cup of sweetened shredded coconut. Um, again, I am trying to omit anything that could be an allergen. You can, if you'd like, it does add a lot of delicious texture in there as well. But we're skipping it for now. Slide that, not melted, but softened room temperature butter. And now, for the fun, loud mixing part, you guys will know what a mixer sounds like and what it does, right? All right, well, we're gonna mix it for about four or so minutes until it's fully blended. Be right back. super duper uber mixed up and yeah it did take a little bit longer like about six minutes or so to really get it in there good and not even gonna lie I pulled out my hand mixer to really get in there nice and deep and get everything at the bottom and all of the sides and next for our next one feet I'm gonna be dividing up a little wet in there from me rinsing out I'm going to be dividing up the batter into four separate containers equally still wet and then we are going to be adding food coloring to each to make them um, a different bright fun color the brighter the better and ones that kind of combine together and don't make like an ugly brown or anything like that something here so one by one
All right. Got it all in there. Made sure to give it a good tap, maybe on a counter, not on a glass top. A little shimmy. Get things really even on there. And I will say, tip, do not maybe pull it up so high on the edges like I did, because that is probably going to burn. But live and learn. And I like to put it on top of a baking sheet as well, so it gets a little bit more uh, stability in the oven. So now we are popping it in the oven at 350 again. Let me not burn myself. I have scars all over my forearms from this. <laughs> Pop it in the oven. We're going to set a timer on my handy dandy phone. And then we're going to start prepping stuff for the icing. So now obviously the cake has had more than enough time to cool down and to very, very difficultly get out of the bunt pan. Oh, just a couple little itsy bitsy boo boos. Now we have to make the icing. And since I get stressed about time really quickly, doing quick things and stuff in the end, I've already spaced out four of the exact same colors that are in the cake in little icing bowls. Because once the icing starts to harden up, it makes for a uh, very, very quick and swift process if we don't want anything to get screwed up. So, three cups of powdered sugar. Hopefully that's three cups. It's the last of the powdered sugar I have. I'm going to use six tablespoons of whole milk. Try not to break anything. And then a half a teaspoon of... Teaspoon or tablespoon? Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And again, I am keeping it with the lemon instead of the coconut. So, here we go. Let's start with the milk so the uh, sugar doesn't... Stick to the pan, and yes, we have two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And yes, we're gonna heat it up just a little bit to marry everything together. This is the whole teaspoon. We're just gonna do half. Eyeball it half there and half here. Too much. <laughs> there we go. And now for the sugar. I'll figure out where I left my whisk. Nope, there it is. Alright, let's heat it up a little bit. Wrong burner. Mm, there we go. We'll do four then. That smells delicious. Pour it in a little sugar at a time. Right handed. So this is much easier this way. One thing I didn't do that I should have, I would recommend, is running the powdered sugar through a sifter so you don't get any lumps.
boring, right? For the super duper not so fun quick part, I'm gonna take a little bit of the homemade royal icing and try to not spill anything. Get a little bit in there, not too much because I'm gonna split it up all between all four colors. Alright, nice pretty blue color going there. Just drip it all down. So sweet and sugary. Blue. Oh. Definitely got a little 
myself. hard part waiting for all of it to dry all right so unfortunately it is not as bright in color uh, next time I would use a little bit less of each food dye I would also love to have a second hand somebody mixing and the other one pouring and then perhaps the colors would not mishmash so much. Also, I definitely did not use enough powdered sugar, but I used every little bat last bit I had left. So therefore it's not as thick and drippy, but we'll put a little bit of colored crystal sugar on it for a little extra pithias and that was a little bit too much but <laughs> can never have enough sugar right there we go we'll try and get it on the corners a little bit there and uh, next i feel like we'll have the big reveal and cut it open Big piece, little piece, big piece, little piece. I'm gonna go with big piece. stuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, is it gonna come out? There we go. Oh, whoops. Oh, ta-da! Well, top might have gotten a little too marbled up, but the inside looks amazing! Hopefully it tastes just as good. I mean, I know it's gonna taste just as good. You know what? This is just easier. Ta-da! Alright, gonna get a look in there. All those beautiful colors. Mmm. Now, of course, you gotta have a bite. Mm. And now, for a little taste test. Mmm. So much sugar. <laughs> but I think it looks like it needs more icing on it. But holy shit, there's a lot on there already. Mm. 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 Absolutely. Ridiculously delicious and definitely. Mm. Did not need any of the coconut in it. And just a little bit of lemon extract was absolutely perfect in there for a slight bite. Hopefully you'll try it out too. And